I'm Kristen Pope. I am a Team USA weightlifter and today I'm going to be taking you through the basics of the snatch. It's one of the two movements in Olympic weightlifting for competition and it is the one that is performed first and probably the more complicated lift technique wise. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to think about is foot placement. And if you're a very beginner, I would recommend just to start with your feet right below your hips. And you're going to move your feet out in the middle of the lift to what is your most comfortable squat stance. So for me, I start right at hip distance and then by the time I finish the lift, I'm more about here because that's where I'm comfortable doing an overhead squat. If you don't have the mobility to do a full squat below parallel, Definitely focus on that first, working on your hip range of motion. Second thing to think about is your grip on the bar. So to find the most comfortable grip, pick up the bar and place it right in your hip crease where you would bend over. It's gonna hit right there in the middle of the snatch. And then you're gonna find the grip to where when you stand up, it stays in that same spot. So for me, it's right at this line. It's different for everyone. Depends on your levers and your arm length. So play around with it because in the middle of the lift, you want it to touch your body right at that hip crease. So finding the appropriate width is really important. This snatch is one movement from ground to overhead, but there's two parts to it. One being the pull and the next being the overhead squat. So first let's talk about the pull. You're going to Get that foot placement we talked about and find your grip that we already established. And the first part of the pull is from the ground to the knee. You're gonna set your bar up right over the middle of your shoe. For me, it's right, right where this Velcro strip is. And the bar goes straight up to the knee. So that's the first section of the pull. You don't want to shift your knees forward because the bar is going to bang into them. So you want it to pull straight up the shin. The second part of the pull, you're going to straighten your legs all the way to the hip. That's what's actually known as a snatch deadlift. So it goes straight up the shin and then push the knees out of the way till your legs are straight. And that's the first half of the snatch. The next part of the snatch is going to be the actual jump or explosion. So you want to start the top of the pole from what's known as a power position. You're going to re-bend the knees into wherever you would do like a box jump or a vertical jump for max height. So once the bar hits your hips, your knees are going to be bent for a second time. You start bent, straighten, re-bend, get ready for that jump. So when the bar meets the hip, you're going to be in your power position, ready to extend up as high as possible. This is the point where you shrug your shoulders up too. In the power position, when the bar makes contact with your hip, you're going to use that momentum to let it make the bar weightless, so it gives you time to drop under the bar. So you're over the bar, over the bar, make the contact and shrug and jump all at the same time. Happens very fast, it's a very explosive movement. The final part of the snatch pull is actually pulling yourself under the bar. So after you've got the bar weightless, you're gonna keep pulling with high elbows and flip it over into your overhead squat. So like I talked about in the beginning, while you're in the middle of your explosion and moving into your overhead squat, your feet are going to move out into your squat stance. Mobility in the upper body is also a big factor. You have to have adequate shoulder range of motion and mobility in your thoracic spine to be able to hold the bar behind your head in that squat position. So make sure you focus on your mobility for the overhead squat. You'll notice when I'm setting up at the bar, I'm using what's called a hook grip. And that is when you wrap your thumb under the bar and then use your other fingers to hold on. A lot of weightlifters tape their thumbs for this reason, so uh, your other fingers don't slip off of the nail. So to use the hook grip, grab the bar with a full grip and then wrap your fingers around. So you'll see when I set up, I always use hook grip on all of my Olympic lifts.
The snatch is a very complex movement, so if it doesn't look like this at first, don't stress out about it. And if you can only do a power snatch and not drop into the full squat yet, that's still a great start. Great way to progress into the full squat is to do power snatch and then slowly ride it down into the squat. And performing the full movement like that is going to improve your mobility so you can do the full snatch. All right guys, so that's the basics of the snatch. You can obviously dive much deeper into the technique and get into the nitty gritty, but that gives you a good place to start. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you wanna see more tutorial videos like this, let me know in the comments there too. And I'll see you then.